In this tutorial, we're going to start looking into one hot encoding, which is one of the most common methods to represent categorical variables. Uh, the one hot encoder basically replaces a categorical vari variable uh, with one or more features that can only have or that can only take the value of zero or one. Now, this type of processing or pre-processing, as you can imagine, increases uh, the amount of uh, data in the data set. But it also increases uh, the efficiency of the process as it converts non-numerical values into binary uh, zero, one values. So uh, what exactly are these categorical values? Now, let me explain it using the adult income data set which you'll find a link to in the description so um, we've imported pandas um, and we read our uh, csv uh, file uh, containing the data set the raw file uh, or the raw data set has no header and uh, we also have to name um, each column now we're not going to need all of these columns uh, for our one hot encoding so we'll just limit it to a few columns so data is uh, data let's say we'll need age uh, work class uh, education gender hours per week occupation okay and income so income so age work class education gender hours per week occupation and income and we'll use uh, ipython display which is a very neat function uh, to view our data so we'll just say display our data shift enter to run this Okay, so invalid syntax over over where over here. All right. Okay, so uh, we can see that the work class uh, feature. Uh, can have a, a few possible values so uh, state gov self-employed not inc private and so on and so forth uh, when we use one hot encoding the encoder uh, will add a new feature for each of these possible values of the work class feature so uh, let's say one person from our sample is a state gov uh, employee or a government employee first uh, the first thing uh, the encoder will do uh, is it will create a new feature for each value and then it will assign one to the state gov um, feature and zero to the rest of uh, the newly created features like uh, self-employed private and so on uh, let's see that in action so uh, first, uh, we look at the original data, let's say uh, print original features. Um, let's add a new line here. And we're going to list the data dot columns. OK, and we'll also add a new line to the end of it. All right, uh, and then uh, we one hot encode the data. Uh, one hot encoding is also called dummy variables. So um, we'll just uh, suggestively name it data dummies is uh, pandas get dummies data. And then we look at the one hot encoding data. So let's say print uh, features after one hot encoding we'll also add a new line here and now we're gonna list uh, data dot 
um, data dummies dot columns all right shift enter to run this okay so um, as you can see uh, not only our work class feature uh, has been one hot encoded but also the other categorical uh, features like education uh, so education here has multiple new features um, gender occupation uh, non-categorical features or continuous features like um, age and hours uh, hours per week uh, have remained the same so they were not hot encoded the column for income is uh, going to be separated because that's our target variable um, our label but we'll deal with that um, in a future video all right, uh, now in the next tutorial, we're going to transform uh, this uh, data frame. So this is actually a data frame um, into a NumPy array, which we'll use to train a machine learning algorithm on. So uh, please be sure to like and subscribe the video if you want to follow the series. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.